Hey guys, I don't know what to say. I got a hundred subscribers. I actually never thought I'd get that high. Um, I don't know what I'm supposed to do or where I'm supposed to go with it, but you know what? I'm just going to enjoy the fact that I have it. I will at one point come up with a certain build that's, you know, reaching beyond a little bit of a limit that I was thinking. And, you know, I'll dedicate that to my 100 subscribers. Uh, Atomic Doug, I'm going to take that, I'm going to make this official, I'm going to take that challenge, I'm going to build a plane. And once I've built a plane, let's build that boat. We'll do a ship, any ship you want. Um, I personally have a couple lying around myself, and I was thinking I was going to do the 170 second scale, uh, Motor torpedo, motor torpedo boat, you know, the Vosper, or maybe the PT-109 that I have. Yeah, I have a couple big ones, and I was like, I don't know why I bought them. I thought maybe i get into RC, you know, turn them into RC boats, but, um, they're just lying around. Maybe I should do it. It's a big-ass boat. It's three feet effing long. Um, as for the plane... Somebody out there knows which one I'm going to do, and that's another two foot and a half plane. Uh, we're going to have some fun with it. And uh, so it's going to be planes, boats, whatever. Have some fun for your my 100th uh, subscribe. Hit the 100th subscriber. And the little guy's away for the weekend, so it'll be quiet. And it's our long weekend here in Canada. So I'm going to take off to the beach and, you know, hopefully don't get put into the back in the drink by uh, Greenpeace and but other than that you guys all have fun I will put up a video as soon as I know exactly or, or sorry when I'm you know in the air in the not the sense in the mood but that have the ability to show both of those the plane and the boat and not have to worry about dealing with the girlfriend and the boy and all that stuff so you guys have a great weekend. I'll see you all next weekend when, you know, I'll put it up. But thank you to all the people that have subscribed to me and all those that will or whatever. Last weekend's build was amazing. It put me over the top. I want to do another one. Uh, little K was totally into it. He wants to do another one. I think it's more he wants to be in a video, you know how kids are. Um, we will just just go with it. And it's a nice, easy, relaxing weekend. It's all about her. My weekend last weekend was all about me. So, you know how it is, guys. Um, and as Atomic Dog says, yeah, I'm buying models and putting them in my stash, but she already told me she knows. Uh, and she saw it. In fact, she mentioned it, which means maybe I shouldn't buy one this weekend. Um, you guys all have a great weekend. Have fun. See you very, very soon. And I'll challenge uh, any other, actually, car guy out there. Build a plane. They're not as easy as you think. Unlike car models, they go together a little bit different. They have a habit of seams not fitting. Unless I go with Tamiya. Uh, or being a little too heavy on the wings, so they split open. And yes, Atomic Dog, I'm giving away. I have built planes in my life. I have built many planes, actually. I got back into cars because they were, um, don't tell anybody, easier. Uh, well, not necessarily slash easier. You just don't have the fit problems. Like, I do find AMT to be annoying, but... If you've ever tried to build a Revell plane compared to a Tamiya plane or a Hasegawa plane, you'll understand the difference is 100 times different compared to an AMT to a Revell kit, uh, car kit. Like, it just blows your mind that Revell would do that with a plane. Um, and yes, I know you guys build Airfix out there, but 
Airfix is AMT to me because I built Tamiya models and a Hasegawa model, occasionally an Academy model. Um, so we'll see how it goes. I mean, I built a Snowberry. If anybody knows what the Revell Snowberry is, that's a big, beautiful uh, nah, convoy ship that they had in early World War II. And I built her to the Canadian style. God bless Canada. But there were some major, major fit problems in there. And they've now come up with a new kit, which might, as much as the Enterprise is in my bucket list, Jen, the Snowberry might be close up there, actually. And by the way, the Enterprise I talk about is not the Star Trek Enterprise. It's the USS Enterprise. The beautiful three foot long aircraft carrier. If you ever get a chance to build her, just do it. It's so amazing to build. Um, but anyway, I've got up to holy sh shit. I'll say that word. Um, six minutes. Guys, have a great weekend. Ciao. Everybody be good.